I think we are ready to begin. And as we do, let me first of all thank MedStar, a tremendous medical equipment company, medical supply, medical professionals who give us the opportunity to make use of their facility. I am indeed proud of the fact that they headquarter here in the 7th Congressional District in the state of Illinois, in the western suburbs, part of what we call Proviso Township. And what that really means that a group of towns and villages come together to form a unit of government to do programmatic activities that they would be too small to do alone. And so it's kind of unique to Illinois. Some people think it's a duplication of services, but those of us who believe in this kind of operation just reinforces the idea that service to the people is the rent that we pay for living in a democratic kind of environment. So I thank them. Let me thank the multi-ethnic advisory group. And no matter who we have as officers and chairmen and presidents and all of that, much of the motivation comes from Dr. V.J. Pravaka. Yeah who is a <laughs> tremendous organizer, facilitator, make things happen, get things done. And it's because of his ingenuity and creativity in a real sense that we are here this morning. Today is Sunday, and I don't make any bones about my relationship with faith. I am a practicing Protestant, uh, believe in faith, and of course on Sundays we worship. Of course, my daddy used to say he'd much rather see a sermon than hear one any day. <laughs> And so I thought of him because what we are seeing today is a sermon. We're not just seeing people talk about things that they wish were being done or things that somebody ought to do, things that it would be great if they did this. That's not what this is about. This is about people actualizing and putting into play their faith, their belief, that notwithstanding the fact that when we read the papers or see the news, it looks as though what's happening in India is beyond our scope. And so individuals are wondering and thinking, is there anything that I can do with my little being to help? But all of us here have gone beyond that kind of thinking to the extent of saying, if we can just do a little bit, and all of those little bits get added together, because we are appreciative of what our government has done and is doing. Joe Biden is a guy who does what he say, says what he means. And I'm pleased that he and our federal government are providing aid. Many of our corporate entities are providing aid. Not everyone has given anything yet, but we hope that everybody will give before it's over. Individuals have given money to purchase equipment, to purchase medication, 
to facilitate movement. It takes all of that together to deal with the pandemic. India has the largest population of democracy in the world. The largest democracy in the world has some of the greatest challenges, some of the greatest needs. And so we're saying if we can just do our little part, and you're going to hear some big parts, but we're also going to get a message out to the general public, letting people know that they can do their part that they can be in the playing field. They don't have to be a money quarterback. They can be on the field. They can be where the action is. And that's what we're really trying to convey. That's what we're asking Americans to do, no matter who they are, to find a role that they can play. And the role may just be if you don't do anything, but make sure you get your own vaccination. You make sure that you wash your hands frequently. You make sure that you don't be unnecessarily engaged in activity that helps to spread rather than take away. Always say, I am not all people, but I am one. I cannot do all things, but I can do some. That which I can do, I will do, and you should too. And the you becomes everybody. So as we kick this off, let me ask Dr. G. B. J. Prabhakar if he would have some comments. B. J. Yeah. Thank you, Congressman, for this great initiative which you have initiated to unite it for India's COVID relief. As you all know, India is going through the world's most unprecedented humanitarian crisis today. And just to be brief and short, friends, it's all our duty as a global citizen, all over of every one of us here and beyond, to flatten the COVID pandemic happening in India today. The second wave with different mutants has affected. There's a great shortage of uh, need of oxygen cylinders, ICU hospital beds, and the list goes on because India, as Congressman Davis rightly pointed out, is the world's most populous democracy in the country with 1.3 billion people, and nobody expected and anticipated the second wave of COVID pandemic to be so disastrous and drastic. And so just remember, if the COVID, this second pandemic erupts out of India, it's going to even come here to America and all of us. So it's, it's every one of us. The visionary Congressman Danny Davis took it upon himself to educate us here in Chicago and beyond that it's important for all of us to do our bit in whatever way to st at least to flatten the COVID pandemic, the crisis which is going on in India. And I appeal to all of you. We have several other leaders here present. We thank you all. They're all doing different things for India, but I think the large appeal Congressman wants to get out there, he says we can't keep quiet. We all have to work united together to do our best to stop this COVID pandemic in India. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vijay. I know that I'm going to have some individuals ask me at some point, Danny Davis, what are you doing trying to help India? I mean, you represent a lot of poor black folks on the west side of Chicago. And a lot of poor black folks on the south side of Chicago. In the western suburbs, you got some of the poorest people in America. <laughs> black. And here you are talking about India. Well, I live on the west side of Chicago, but I am a citizen of the world. I am a citizen of the world. And I'm trying to help the world to become the kind of world that I want it to be. Not 
somebody else wanted to be, that I wanted to be. And I want to be a citizen of a world that values all humankind, no matter who they are, where they are, how they are, where they come from, how they got to where they are. That's the kind of world that I want to live in. So let me ask Dr. Severus Reddy if he would have some comments and share some medical stuff with us about this illness, about this, this pandemic. Thank you, Congressman. It's always, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Um, you know, we know what is happening in the world right now with regard to this pandemic. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big humanitarian crisis. You know, these are the unprecedented health care emergency that's happening in India. Um, you know, we see the numbers every day. The numbers are astonishing. You know, if they're talking about reported cases of 400,000 with almost 4,000 deaths uh, every day. With uh, the projections, what the projections with the computer models, there would be over 1 million deaths by the end of August. Thus would, that would be a disastrous and a humanitarian crisis that any country ever faced in the recent years. But we know the history has taught us, you know, any of these epidemics and pandemics will end if we protect and vaccinate densely populated countries. And India is being one of the most densely populated country. We have to act quickly. Time is of the essence. You know, it's a matter of time. You know, we already see the, the, the variant strain is in the United States. It's a matter of time that we're going to see another surge of um, the COVID cases in the United States. We don't know these vaccines that we have are effective for this new variant. Still, the data is not out yet. So, you know, and, 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 and uh, as Dr. Cong Congressman said and Dr. Vijay Prabhakar mentioned, we have the greatest strength that we have is we need to come together, uh, you know, ir irrespective of nationality, race, and religion. And then we got, we got to come forward and help any way that we could. And obviously, the greatest strength that we have is uh, putting pressure on uh, um, you know, the politicians in Washington, D.C., and as Congressman mentioned, Biden administration is so supportive. They have done a lot, but they could do more. Definitely, they could do more. That's what we got to do. We need to come together. You know, the pressing need would be vaccines, medicines, oxygen supply, ventilators. All these need to be done quickly. You know, vaccine may be a little late in the game, but, but medicine and oxygen supply has to be done uh, at the earliest possible. I know that's where we come, and I like to urge, you know, with the help of congressmen, this pharmaceutical industry, device manufacturing companies, and all the organizations here to come forward to help India in the time of need. And I finally like to greatly appreciate congressmen for taking the initiation to do this humanitarian effort to help India in a big way. You know, I am, with all of you, eternally grateful for doing this uh, the cause. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, the good thing about being engaged and involved is you keep expanding your own horizon. I've met people in the last few days that I never knew before. And I've met people who are doing outstanding work far beyond most of our imaginations that could even be done. So I'd like to ask Ms. Dipteri Desai, the Chicago Coordinator of CEWA International, to come and have some remarks. I would like to request Nagji, who is also um, part of SEWA, to join us. Thank you, Nagji. So thank you, everybody. Um, just want to give a very, very brief introduction of what SEWA is. SEWA, as you all know, is a Sanskrit word. Um, sorry. Seva is a Sanskrit word for self-service. That's what we are all about. Um, disaster recovery is one of our signature programs of Seva that we have done in um, numerous years so far. And this is not something that we anticipated. 
this is not something that we were looking to do, but uh, it is just amazing what we have done in last one week. In about five days, SEBA was able to raise close to $8 million, thanks to our Indian community. Thank you. Thanks to our uh, corporations, linguistic organizations, our uh, religious organizations, and regardless of whether you're an Indian or not, we have seen the support from everywhere in United States, which is very, very heartening. So thank you everybody for supporting us. The other thing that I would like to mention about SEVA is that every dollar you donate, 99 cents of your dollar does go to the fund that you have. Uh, donated to. So rest assured, uh, we have been continuously uh, rated as one of the top charity organizations. So, uh, and we have been very, very transparent on what we do uh, and where we do what, um, donate all your money. So far from the money that we have collected, uh, UPS has raised uh, 20, over 2,500 oxygen concentrators with the help of Air India. Both have provided free services, um, and Air India will be landing soon, or may have landed already. We have ground workers from Seva Bharti who have already started distributing, or will start distributing. They have analyzed, and it is very, very data-driven as to where we want to let the um, donate all of our oxygen concentrators. So it's not just at random, um, and we, you will see a lot of updates on Facebook. So if you have donated, please follow us on Facebook. You will be able to see where your money is going. Um, Nagji, would you like to add anything? Sure. Thank you, Deepthiji, and uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Congressman, for the opportunity. This is a great initiative to support. Like you said, we all feel like we are global citizens today, and we want to be able to support. Uh, Say we also provide a lot of support when the crisis was at its peak last year in the United States. We provided uh, help with PPE, hospital needs. We also provided a helpline to support people. So we'll continue to do that, like uh, Deepthiji mentioned, wherever there is a disaster. And in terms of, uh, you know, uh, we already mentioned about the, the 99 cents, the low, really low overhead. Um, uh, if you check out Charity Navigator, we are one of the top five uh, charities in the world in terms of the efficiency and how uh, well we manage the operations. So thank you for the support. Thank you for continuing to support. I think with the support together, we'll tide over the crisis, and we are definitely confident of that. Thank you, everyone. Just one last thing. Please go ahead and donate sevausa.org slash donate. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you both. And now I'd like to bring to the podium a, another person whose race and ethnicity comes from Africa and who feel as I do that out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole. Down do who is the chief executive officer of the largest black-owned, black-run social service agency in the state of Illinois, Habilitative Systems. Thank you so much, Congressman Davis. You know, it's uh, amazing to be able to witness as I have for over 50 years, leadership that came originally from a southern state of Arkansas that then cultivated leadership within the Chicagoland communities at the city, county, and now federal levels. I've been saying continuously that Congressman Davis is the epitome of servant leadership. And you know, it's, it's, it's powerful when you know you can have such humble beginnings and cultivate and manifest such a proud and powerful world vision that reaches and touches so many segments of the world. You know, I'm just so pleased to, to be able to speak this morning for a moment about the intimate connection between India and America. Yes, it was because of India and one of his sons that our civil rights movement gain the momentum and the vision that it needed. Yes, it is true. Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King studied Mahatma Gandhi. 
And it was because of that ideology that we were able to have such powerful impact in our social action and our civic engagement and the upliftment of folks who are impoverished. So even in this moment, we realize that with this pandemic, it is yet another major challenge. And it is not a challenge that we take lightly. Millions of people are dying. And we know if we've heard that it can have impact in other parts of the world. So I also urge you to just think for a moment, in addition to making the contributions, and, and this is America's communities, again, embracing India, Chicago land communities in particular, embracing India because of that intimate connection that we've got. But think about also the mental health of those individuals, the anxiety, the depression that they are now experiencing because of the loss of millions of loved ones. Just think for a moment how absolutely tragic that is for millions of people. Not only those families, but the children. Just think about that continued impact and dynamic of trauma and suffering on millions of people in India. We know about this in the black community. We know about generational trauma. And this is the type of thing that we have to prepare for, the generational trauma that the families in India may also experience. We've experienced it for 400 years here in America. We know about it. So we appeal to you today, please make that donation. Let's lift up our brothers and sisters in India. And so it may be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm sure today that Miss Enola Du would be very proud of her son that I happen to have known and know. We will now hear from Mr. Neil Cott, Executive Vice President of the Indian American Business Coalition. Thank you, Congressman, for putting such a fantastic event on a very short notice on a Sunday. Uh, as Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. So this is the time for us to stand up and be the change, be the leaders, to show to the world that the oldest democracy and the largest democracy will be friends in this calamity of tsunami of COVID and will bring all the forces together. And as Congressman said, Today, we are not a single citizen. We are a global citizen. And, and whatever happens on one part of the world will affect the other part of the world. And we are, all of us are in this together. And Congressman, again, we would like to thank you for standing us as our brothers uh, in the time of need. You have stood up. You have shown the leadership. And we would like to follow under your leadership and guidance. Even though we have many different organizations under Indian community, and Indian community has contributed a lot to this country. Um, each one of them are doing their own small bit, Seva International, uh, the Red Cross for India, Red Cross Rotary for India, uh, Federation of Indian Association, METF, uh, Indian US Business Alliance, and many other organizations are doing their own small bit. And I would like to appeal to all others who are at various positions of giving, the CEOs and the CEOs of the companies on a corporate level, uh, please do that. I uh, would also like to thank the Biden administration who has taken enormous uh, initiatives and have already sent out uh, relief funds to uh, India. The, the, the planes have left and the ICU units, the oxygen concentration. So I think there is a deeper friendship. And for a stable world, the largest and the uh, oldest democracy have to work together so that we are all safe and we flatten the curve as soon as we can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Even though we are in Cook County, we don't have a problem with our neighbors in Naperville and <laughs> other places like that and all. So, so we, we, we are pleased to have Mr. Vasa Chakta, Commissioner of the Naperville Sisters Commission from the city of Naperville, Illinois. <laughs> thank you, Congressman. Thank you, Dr. Prabhakar. Uh, thanks for um, taking this initiative. This is the crucial time in India. People are dying uh, with COVID. I lost my loved ones and my friends 
and so many of my friends here, they, their families are affected by this uh, disease. <clears throat> this is the time we need to remember what great president J.F. Kennedy has said. This is not the time to ask what my country can do for me. This is, you, you have to you know, say what I can do for my country. India has given us strong roots, strong values, strong education. That's why we are here in this country and be very successful. This is the time to give back. This is the time to lend a hand. This is the time open your heart. And this is the time we come together without any differences. This is the time we need to unite as one family. And uh, your money you can uh, spend today and earn tomorrow. But the money you are going to donate today are going to save lives. Please don't point your finger to other people who, who maybe may not be unable to do their job effectively right now. And four fingers are pointing to you saying what you are doing. So keep that in mind. This is the time you should stop spreading negative news. This is the time you need to say a prayer for your neighbor. This is the time you give a hug to your loved ones, say, it's OK, I'm here for you. And how you can help, please open your checkbooks, write a check, or donate, some, donate online, or do whatever. But this is not the time you look at your savings and they say, I don't have money. You always have money. Even if you have one dollar, please donate it. I'm going to donate thousand dollars today to Sama International for COVID relief. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can't lead where you don't go. And you can't teach what you don't know. And so thank you. Thank you for your leadership and your passion. Sunil Shah, founder and president of the FIA in Chicago. I'd like to appreciate, compliment, and applaud the phenomenal initiative taken by Congressman Danny Davis to fight the battle against the COVID. Today we see the gathering of like-minded and compassionate people from different associations. You all are here because you care. You all are here because you are kind. You all are here because you want to share. You all are here because you care. You all are here because you want to save the lives of your fellow men in India. So let's all, shoulder to shoulder, work together and fight this dreaded battle against COVID. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we have uh, Sina Hadamke, Chicago coordinator of the Friends of India Society International. Namaste, everybody. Thank you very much, Congressman. As our Indian ancient wisdom say, word is one family. And in one family, when somebody need, we give the helping hand to the senior citizen, we give the helping hand to the disabled people, we give the helping hand to the children. At the same time, when somebody make a mistakes, as a family member, we politely but friendly pointed out the mistake. And I'm here, everybody talking about the good thing, but I'm here to talk about my grievances about presenting India's picture on media. Most of the media present the India in cremation ground or griefing people. But it was India who supported 
last year, 59 countries medical supply, including USA, and it is in India. We had an election, and American media, I'm especially talking about American media, talking about oh, Prime Minister of India is killing people, instead of people dying, go and vote. That's it. Do we have a dictator country? So media, American media should present proper picture, not like just like a one-sided, one-sided, one agenda views. Second thing, of course, thanks to the President Biden and Prime Minister Modi, we have the understanding as a partner. And we are the partner in the working with the world. So uh, what my request to Congressman, please bureaucracy everywhere, whether in India or USA, the bureaucracy is a bureaucracy. So please take care of the bureaucracy in USA and please take care of your friends in the Congress and Senate also. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. And now to the son, president of the Happy Mount Minds Foundation in Naperville, Illinois. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, thank you, everyone. So today is uh, World Laughter Day. So it's, it's uh, not a laughing matter that we are here. Uh, the virus has uh, no religion, no caste, no race, and it has hit. Charity also has no religion, no caste. So please, please take this very seriously. Let's not bicker. Uh, whichever charity anyone wants to do, please do, but do it for humanity so that the laughter comes back. Uh, there is a lot of mental health issues that are going to come. So one of the requests I have is, Today, let's donate cylinders, you know, air products, air liquid, whoever, Congressman, you can influence, empty cylinders. People cannot put deposits on cylinders in India. So it costs about $1,000 just for a dying man to get a cylinder. So they, many people are dying because they can't put a deposit. So please, there are, I worked in the gas industry, there are hundreds of thousands of cylinders that are being grandfathered in US for newer technologies, we can just donate it. And that doesn't cost money. It's already written off. So I request that uh, directly coming from Congress to all the uh, organizations. And the second thing is for mental health, if we can put a process. So I have a very small foundation that I have created, not for now, but going forward, global crisis is going to come on mental health, and it's a tsunami that's going to happen. So we look forward for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your creativity and for your engagement. Our last scheduled speaker just came in. <laughs> And she is not only the epitome of excellence, but the jacket that she is wearing. <laughs> so gorgeous. She is one of the most delightful people that I've ever had the good fortune to meet. She is generous to the core. She is passionate about what she does. She is the founder and executive director of the Metropolitan Asian Family Services Organization, the largest and most effective Asian social service group in the metropolitan area of Chicago. <laughs> Dr. Mrs. Santosh Kumar, would you close the session? Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Congressman Danike Davis. You made my day. But my country is crying. My country is in a very, very serious, chaotic situation right now. And I want to thank Congressman Danike Davis and Dr. Prabhakar to bring all of us together. We are here for the cause of India.
for the cause of our motherland. We are neither any of religion. We are all religion is a human religion. And Sunil and Nehru rightly said that we are one in this crisis. And I think now is the time we should be one for all the causes. Nothing matters. Life is so fragile, so short, so limited. What for we are fighting? If we can live, if we can share this land or share this whole planet in a beautiful activities. We all have very beautiful powers in within ourselves. And so much resources if we put together in a positive thing. So this is the time I request and urge all the uh, leaders here and outside who is hearing the live uh, telecast this thing. That we should really think what we are fighting for. This is the time we should really think life is very, very, very short. And we can do such a beautiful things together, everywhere in the world, and the, on this planet. We cannot go on the mass at this our life. So this is the planet we should work for. And I request everybody to put together our efforts. And I know many organizations are doing so much work in this time, but they are doing a firm degree. So I think um, we have decided that we should put together because one organization, because every organization does not have a, uh, the, the rules regulation to send to the India. So we thought we should go on the banner of FIA. But he, they are already collected, at least 25,000 dollars for them, and we should uh, collect all them and give to them. So we have a big amount of money, and we can go properly, and go to the proper, sending is not enough. When it goes, it should be, it should be Give it to the right people. It should be the right cause which we have. The oxygen they needed, the oxymeter they needed, the red runny display, the medicines they are needed, equipment they are needed. So it should go to the right people who can spend this money 100%. That effort we should take on. And Sunini, uh, can you come forward? We want to go, uh, give this to your organization. The, our, our organization, not your, is that we all belong to that. Everybody's organization. Everybody's organization. So that you make sure it goes to the right people. And I want to declare 5,000 from my side for, for this cause. And I want everybody to open your heart, open your purses. And this is the time to give to the, we have made enough. And we never continued it. So please, my humble request to all of you to do that and get order it properly and openly. Thank you so much. And I may again thanks to, uh, you made my day. <laughs> You really made my day. Thank you, and Dr. Prabhakar. Yeah, this is all your effort. Please come. Come forward. Come. Only congressmen's orders. Yeah, yeah. The orders is the, but without your effort, no, these people right. cannot come together. So this man should be applauded. No, Thank no, you. No, no. Thank you. Yes, yes. Well, we are next door to the Freedom Baptist Church, right next door. And I'm sure that they're saying the same things in there today that we're saying out here. We've heard some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful expressions of care, concern, and support. And I thank you all. But I'm also thinking that they probably are saying there's a scripture in the Bible that says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am as a tinkling cymbal sounding brass. And though I would have the gift of prophecy and knoweth all things, if I have not charity translated into meaning love, then I am nothing. It means nothing. Tinkling cymbals and sounding brass. We know that we are going to do all that we can. So I want to thank all of you again. You are such a wonderful group. <laughs> I mean, you just couldn't do much better. 
I don't know if you could invent and create <laughs> a better group than this group. Yeah, absolutely. And as we move towards Mother's Day, which is next Sunday, and we'll be having our own pandemic vaccination event at the Near North Comed Health Center at 43rd and Berkeley. I'm just reminded, and I close with something that my mother used to tell us all the time, and in honor of all mothers and mothers everywhere for next week. My mother used to tell us that if you can't be a pine, at the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub by the side of the rill. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the moon, be a star. It's not by size that you win or fail, but be the best the very best of whatever you You all are the best. Thank you so much. Thank Channel 7 for representing all of the television stations. They, they, they represent all the stations. Not here, but I'm going to call them. And, all right. WBBM Radio. The public, uh, public radio, NPR, public radio. We thank all of the media outlets who are on a Sunday morning and covering the event. Yes. Judge Sanjay Taylor wants to be I think it's still morning. Um, my name is Sanjay Taylor. I'm a judge of the Circuit Court of Cook County, and this is my colleague who I'll allow. To Hello, uh, I'm Judge Rena Van Tyne. I'm also a judge in the Circuit Court of Cook County. I've been on the bench for 20 years, and my colleague here is the presiding judge of the uh, county division. So uh, we are the most senior Asian American judges in the state of Illinois. And uh, we are here to stand in unis uh, stand with you as partners in this uh, battle that we have, and it is a battle. And I'm so heartened to see so many people come together uh, fighting for this cause. And thank you to the congressman for uh, being the leader. You know, he's not a Johnny Come Lately citizen of the world. He's always been a citizen of the world. He talked about <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi, um, and who inspired. Uh, Dr. King and you know Mahatma Gandhi was inspired by Tolstoy who in turn was inspired by Henry David Thoreau so there's a long history of citizens of the world and uh, we are continuing that tradition so thank you congressman yes thank you congressman uh, for shining a light on this issue it's important to Americans Indian Americans you know who among us don't have relatives living in India or dying in India right now. So this is really, really important, uh, not only for India, not only for the world, but people who live right here, um, right now. Thank you. Thank you all. BJ.
Yeah. Anything else? Uh, Anika Young Youth would like to say a few words, Congressman. All right. Uh, thank you, Congressman Davis, for this opportunity to speak out. My name is Anika Ayalaraju, and I am representative of the youth, um, Asian youth. Um, nowadays, we are in the age of digital media with social media, and often we see um, the virus along with the uh, coronavirus, but also misinformation. There is a dark light being shed on the uh, view of India. As previously uh, stated before, it, only the cremations and the dark, um, the dark deaths of those in India are being shown, rather than the efforts that uh, India has done beforehand to help 59 countries, including America. What I am here to say is a call to action to the youth everywhere, um, to anyone who sees this. It's use your phone, use the, use the internet that you have access to, use your social media to spread real information in order to uh, dispute any misinformation so that dark rumors do not spread, so that panic does not ensue, because we are responsible for the health of our parents, of our grandparents, of our community, because we are the next generation if we are not able to put that light in the future, then we will be going down a dark road, and that begins with us. It begins with putting forth the proper news, the proper statistics, the proper information, so that peace can, be, can go around and so that America can help out India. So please go on your phones, go to uh, the CDC website, go donate to SEVA, donate your money to proper organizations so that the proper help uh, can reach India where it belongs. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you all. Right. Thank done. you all. Yes, Congressman. Thank you all. We thank the Congressman again. And Suresh Bodhiwala and Sri Gursami would like to take an individual video bite of each of you all. So like Anika said and Congressman said, we'll spread the word. You know, we'll have to do all we can, like Congressman said, to flatten the COVID pandemic in India so it doesn't erupt across the borders. Thank you all. Thank you again, Congressman. We're very grateful for you to having taken this visionary initiative. Thank you all. Thank you. You know what we want. <laughs> <laughs>
Sevo was right there. We were providing PP and other hospital supplies that were in short supply back then, and we also help with uh, helpline and other activities so that the most affected people uh, get some help. So thank you for uh, uh, considering SEVA, and uh, we hope you'll we'll continue to donate to SEVA. Thank you for all the support. Thank you so much for all the wonderful work that you are doing, and I uh, hope you continue to do more. Uh, we also have with us here um, Anika Ayalraju. Uh, she's representing the youth of the Indian American community, and she has a strong appeal uh, to uh, talk to us about. Hello, my name is Anika Ayalraju, and I am here on behalf of T T uh, TTA, the Tri-State Telugu Association. Um, and I am here to speak about the youth and what we can do in order to help the pandemic, in order to help our parents and grandparents um, back in India. Often we go on social media, we like to look at other people's posts. Um, however, what we can do is use that platform in order to spread useful information, information that can help break the stigma around the pandemic, around mental health, and around the humanitarian crisis that is currently happening in India. By being able to use such an um, adverse platform, more information can be spread to the four corners of the world, and therefore more people can be helped, and it's a ground where you can donate your money into um, a place where it can actually go to help more people in order to help buy more ventilators or oxygen tanks, which is a crucial and in dire need in India. Um, so as, as youth, as a person who is the next generation, it is crucial that you stand up for your parents, for the elderly, in order to help um, in order to help solve this pandemic and um, in order to help save lives that um, are in critical uh, need. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anika. Yeah, please come. We also have here uh, from SIA Chicago, the founder of Preston, Mr. Samir Shah, and Mr. Neil Court. Uh, please uh, share your thoughts about this initiative that we are working on to help our brothers and sisters in India. Yeah. It's so gratified and blessed uh, having this uh, wonderful opportunity to serve our fellow men uh, suffering from this treated disease, uh, COVID. And uh, would like to appreciate uh, Congressman Danny Davis and uh, Dr. Vijay Prabhakar for taking this uh, great initiative of bringing uh, all the like-minded and compassionate people under the one roof. And it's just, it's a teamwork, you know. A single individual cannot do anything, but together uh, we can move the mountains. So together we can fight this battle and uh, accomplish the goal of eradicating the COVID from our country, India. So let's all work together and uh, spread the message and uh, do our best to fight this battle. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. Um, on behalf of Federation of Indian Association, I would like to thank Metropolitan Asian American uh, uh, Family Services for the generous donation that she has made. Mr. Sa Mr. Santosh Kumar, thank you so much. And FI will equally do its part to match the contributions uh, through our other donors that contribute. Uh, we just had a big event last week, and we almost collected uh, 25, close to $25,000. And we are continuously doing these efforts all across Chicago, uh, requesting other organizations, the people who are in a position of power uh, to donate. And we would love everybody uh, to, to give some uh, look deeper into your hearts, contribute, and we will match through our other donors and, and make a generous contribution. All these contributions will go either through Rotary or Red Cross India, and they already have the channels in place for the oxygen concentrators, uh, supplies, ICU, uh, and the medical equipments, as well as uh, vaccines. Uh, Dr. Prabhakar, a wonderful event for bringing such a uh, organizations under your umbrella uh, to talk about uh, the, the need of the hour, and I guess the Global Eye, which focuses on this event, uh, is, is a fantastic medium. Uh, thank you again, and uh, keep continuing to do this good work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, can I request Alka to please? Oh, OK. OK, come on, Vidya. Yeah. We have now uh, um, 
Vidya Joshi, a BMM president uh, from Chicago area, who would like to share some thoughts about this initiative we are working Thank you, Shri. And thank you, Congressman, and thank you, Dr. Padakar, for arranging this event. Uh, as BMM president, we are a nationwide organization of all Maharashtra members in USA. We are already relentlessly working towards providing the oxygen concentrators, providing the bears, the visa problem, uh, all over USA and Canada. We have a tie-up with Maharashtra Foundation, which is helping several hospitals back in India, raising funds, uh, people are donating, so I will request each of you to donate to uh, through BMM or any other organization because uh, at the end, we all are together. We should do it together, it should go to the right place, right time, and people should make the use of it. So thank you, and thank you so much for this opportunity in this event, and let's make it happen together, let's make it India free COVID. Thank you. Thank you, Vidya. We now have uh, Hima Trivedi, one of our Chicago community leaders, and uh, she will tell us about her uh, efforts to help with this initiative. Hi, I'm Lion Hina Trivedi from Chicago Indo-US Lions Club, founder president. I really wanted to thank you each and every Indo-US community coming together and contributing each and every one. And, Continue helping because this wave, if it doesn't stop, it's going to get all over the world. And in India really needs the help. And each and every one doing excellent job. And I want to continue. Don't stop. Don't think your work is done here. We all are God children. And we, now is the time God is giving each and every one to serve back. Not just in India, in USA too, but all right now is the India needed most. So you guys, each and every one, please. Uh, so to India, thank you. Thank you, Haji. Uh, we now have Mr. Nath Jaiswal, uh, who will speak to us. Uh, he represents the foundation. Um, yeah, thank you. So I represent uh, Happy Minds Foundation, um, focusing on uh, mental health uh, for everyone, right? It is not just for COVID, but post-COVID, uh, or pre-COVID, seniors, everyone. Uh, what I request everyone on the network is if you are connected in the industrial gas segment or specialty gas segment and this is especially for air products lindy guys um, anyone connected in that please 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 reach out your inventories are full of cylinders millions please reach out and ship them out to india whatever means ups fedex ships india needs millions of cylinders. They are short, there is no money, the deposits the people cannot give, uh, so donate freely. All the tech industry from my network, please donate, reach out to your organizations for one is to three match. I know Apple guys, Salesforce guys, if you are watching, uh, do, do your best, Microsoft guys, you know, beat us, but everyone kindly, donate as if there is no tomorrow. We need billions of dollars. Uh, thanks to Seva, Seva collected eight million, but Indian community, come on. We can do much better. We should be in hundreds of millions of dollars, not eight million. So don't stop, don't gloat about it. You know, donate more, write, write your wallets out, right? $10,000 is no big deal for the techies. Uh, you can get your stock options tomorrow. Thank you so much. Next, we have uh, Dr. Shrinivas Reddy, who will uh, give us his thoughts about the initiative. You know, as a practicing physician, my, you know, I always wanted to um, tell, you know, the virus is something that could spread anywhere, uh, whether it could be in India or, or, or any part of the country. And I, as I mentioned before, um, any, um, you know, to contain any epidemic or pandemic, we have to first vaccinate and protect the densely populated countries and which is being India is one of them right now. So, you know, we anything that we could do, as I said, the greatest strength for all of us is to come together, irrespective of nationality, race, religion, and donate whatever we could. It could be one dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, but you know, anything could could help. 
you know, with small amounts. But the other major thing that I would request through this uh, opportunity is, you know, there is so much of lack of medicine, vaccine, vaccines, medical supplies, so like oxygen cylinders, ventilators in India. Um, you know, if anyone has any contacts with the pharmaceutical industry or, um, you know, device manufacturing industry, asking them to come forward, helping them. You know, we, I am reaching um, to a company called Gilead to see whether they could help India to manufacture remdesivir. So those are the things that we should do. And again, you know, with our strength, we could put a lot of pressure in Washington, D.C., uh, with the Biden administration, see whether they could, uh, um, see, I know they've been doing a lot, United States has already done a lot, but they could do a lot more. With that help, uh, you know, we could, uh, we could achieve, you know, because as you know, we, uh, USA is one of the, the wealthiest country and the strongest ally to India, and, and this is the time of need, and whatever they could do to contain this virus is the greatest help that we could do for hu humanity. Thank you. We have with me uh, Ulka uh, from Mumbai. Uh, she would like to say a few words. Thank you, Sri. And thank you to Dr. Kakan and um, everybody else over here. Uh, me, as a Maharashtra member, Chicago president of 2021, Ulka Nagarkar here. And I would like to request all the community members to donate wholeheartedly to the cause. And yes, India needs us right now. So we add all it to be together in this and help in any way possible. Maharashtra Mandal has already affiliated with Seva International Inc. We have already started the fundraiser and we are going to match up uh, first $500 and donate to Seva. And we are going to help in any way possible, whether it is selling oxygen concentrators or medicine like remdesivir or maybe ventilators or whatever kind of help right now India needs, we are ready to give the support um, in every way. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. We now have uh, with us uh, Mother Teresa of Chicago, Santosh Kumarji, Metropolitan Asian Family Services. Thank you, Shri. Uh, all the family, uh, all the leaders, can you will hear me? As Dr. Srinivas Reddy says, that uh, everything. Uh, I have a request to make for you. And that to say that India is a very populated country. It cannot heal itself in a, in a moment or in like a, like a jadu. So please, all the WhatsApp users, don't spread negative information about India. If you get it, please delete it. Because they, they think they, everybody can write, everybody can complete, everybody can say negative things, but they don't realize how it done. Have you done anything so far? If you give maybe 1,000, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, it is not enough even. It's a very, very negative thing. Without knowing anything, how the system works, how it's going on, and you cannot complain and complain and complain and complain. That gives a very low moral of all of us here. So as our youth leader has said, that Arika has said that we have to really watch negativity. And this is our, all of us responsibility. Any government, even the richest country of America, could not handle the pandemic kind which we have right now. The second one is so dangerous. So it's spread in a speck like that. So India <laughs> does not have that many resources, you all know that, so it is not possible. So please be positive, spread positive news, and do real things, not just talk and talk and talk. Thank you. Thank you. That was a really very important message from Santosh Ji. Now I am uh, Martino, who is the chairman of the Multi-Ethnic Advisory Task Force. Thank you, Dr. Vijay. Uh, on behalf of the Multi-Ethnic Advisory Task Force, uh, I would like to express our 
uh, deepest sympathy to all Indian uh, community here or even uh, globally. This is a chance to help each other hand in hand to help uh, people in India. And if you can do any humanitarian efforts to help India, it will be very grateful. And we also know that uh, India got the second uh, tsunami of this uh, COVID-19 that can affect everywhere, including here or worldwide. And it is our uh, responsibility to each uh, to help each others hand in hand and try to solve and try to uh, limit the spreading of this COVID-19. This is uh, our sincere uh, sympathy and also prayers for all others. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I invite Aaron Swasavi Chakka, who is the commissioner at the Naperville City uh, Sister Cities Commission. Namaste, everyone. The greatest in life is to serve others. In our ancient culture, we say, Manava Seve, Madhava Seva. This is that moment. This is that moment we all need to invoke that the humanity, value of humanity in all of us. And instead of criticizing um, government or the people or the organizations, please come together as one family, as we believe in Vasudhaika Kutumbam, whole universe is uh, our family. So lend your hand, open your heart, open your checkbook, or go online and donate. This is not about the money. How we are going to share this pain of so many um, thousands of people and say a prayer for them and um, you know, be there for them. And uh, the prayers have so much power. Instead of spreading negative messages and uh, criticizing, just say a prayer and share love. And that will actually help to heal the uh, people who are suffering in India and all over uh, the world. Uh, please say, Sarva Jana Sukhino Bhavantu. Means everybody should be happy. Thank you. Thank you, Avasaji. I next have uh, Mr. Sridhar Dhani. As all of the Indian American who are second largest, highest income group minority, among the minority, definitely use the donation of money. But seven volunteers here, 10,700 volunteers who are working on the airport to ship medical supply to India, and six million Indian volunteers are working to use the proper use of your donation and your medical supply. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have uh, Mr. Rajesh Narayan and uh, his wife uh, will be uh, giving us their um, remarks. Hello, uh, I'm Rajesh Narayan. And uh, Shannon, Sina. Yeah, we're representing IACA, Indian American Cultural Association, and uh, also FIA. You know, this is an unprecedented pandemic, human, humanitarian crisis in India. And it's heartening to see how all the Indians have come together from different states to help the mother country we come from. Uh, uh, FIA and IACA, we have raised about $27,000. And I would urge all of you to contribute more. Uh, at a personal level, I have uh, I've been working with, uh, we have been working with friends in, in Delhi whom we have uh, sent some um, oxygen concentrators uh, um, at our personal level. And uh, in turn, our friends in Delhi have promised that um, they'll use the oxygen concentrators for everybody in the community they live, if anybody needs. I'll let Shannon speak. Thank you so much. Thanks to Congressman uh, Davis uh, for such a wonderful initiative uh, for doing this uh, for India. 
and the building all of us together under one roof and join shoulder to shoulder and work uh, for this very cause and help our motherland. All our brothers, sisters, you know, they help me, they need help there and we have to step up. You know, whatever we can do, like 50, 100, 500, 1000 dollars, please do donate and help our motherland. They need us and we need them. So please do help. Thank you. So much. Um, can I invite, uh, yeah, Dr. Martinez. Uh, she is a practicing uh, psycho psychiatrist, and uh, mental health will be definitely an issue that we are all dealing with, no matter which country we are in. So we'd like to ask her about how the impact of mental health is going to make a difference in people's lives. Thank you so much. So much, Sri. I, I am uh, honored and privileged to be here among. I am honored and privileged to be here among India's finest and dedicated people, who are doing their all for India. And yes, it's true. Mental health is a significant problem. Uh, will be one for many years to come. Just like when the Twin Towers were destroyed, it was found later that the increase, uh, they found an increase of alcohol and drug use uh, was correlated after that incident. So I think we're going to see the same thing perhaps, and we need to you know, bring all the resources that we can to meet the needs and also of the youth. I know the burden falls on the youth to take care of their loved ones, just as in Mexico, my home, my father and mother's home country. Uh, but I do speak to the youth that you are loved, you are cherished, you are the future generation, but also love and cherish yourself, because there is a God that loves you. We are one, and as one family, we must help one another. Uh, Mexico, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, all these places globally, uh, we are one. And I am that you are that I am. And this is a concept that I've held for many years, and I believe it, and I think that we can do well with donating to CEWA USA, S-E-W-A USA, S-E-W-A USA dot org. Y para mis amigos, que habla en español, por favor contribuye a India. Uh, la salud mental sí es un problema y va a ser un problema aquí en este país también. Uh, damos nos, uh, nuestro apoyo a India. Uh, S I E W A U S A punto O R G. Please, por favor, do, uh, dona su dinero. A esto, a, a, para ayudar a este país tan necesitado ahorita en esta pandemia. Please help India in this terrible pandemic. Uh, SEWAUSA.org. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Ms. Martinez. Uh, next, we have Mr. Vijayendra Dharma. He represents the United Christian Telugu community. Thank you, Shri. Uh, I am Vijendra Doma, representing United Telugu Christian Community and a multi-ethnic uh, United uh, Christian Community. Uh, India is in deep pandemic situation. They are need some help. Regardless, uh, we should not divide by religion or uh, ethnicity, uh, different ways of uh, uh, Come, uh, different ways of uh, division. We achieved a big, uh, a big uh, uh, in city. Uh, we achieved a big goal that uh, somebody wanted to divide in city elections, but uh, we achieved that by uniting. We took the um, stand on that. So thank you, all the lawyers and the city council, for supporting. Uh, at this time. I would uh, encourage all of our uh, Indians, non-Indians, Americans are here. We are supporting India. Whoever uh, listen to this message, please uh, donate your money to UTCC or FIA. 
Seva, there is so many organizations, but uh, I am happy that uh, our congressmen come together, bring all this organization together, and uh, we are happy. And uh, regardless any um, differentiation, we should support each other. Uh, India also supporting a lot of other countries. At the same time, they need our help. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman, uh, for your generous uh, support. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have Sabu, who is representing another nonprofit, Viba. Please come. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Sri, for giving this opportunity. I would like to thank the congressmen for bringing all the organization together to help. Hello. In the time of pandemic. So I am part of an organization called Vibha Org. And I am part of the chapter Chicago. So we are talking about how we can help by giving some donation, talking about oxygen, medicine, and also mental health. And what our Viba Arc is trying to do, we are actually already collecting funds so that we can help India in this needy time. As Viba Ch Chicago chapter, we are going to host an art festival online. And you can actually go and register yourself and your kids can come forward and draw what they think and what they can actually help in the way of be a supportive for this time of pandemic. So please go into the website viba.org, Chicago chapter in Facebook, and please look forward for the upcoming art festival for the fundraise, where your kids can actually come and be a supportive doing some kind of art and also bringing some goodness by showing your art. Thank you so much. That's really exciting. Thank you, Anna. Uh, we have now the president of Tri-State Telugu Association, Ms. Apada Ayal Raju. Hello, everyone. And Shri, thank you for giving this opportunity. And uh, thank you to Congressman for having all of us together, Dr. Vijay Prabhakar for bringing us together. Tri-State Telugu Association is spread over three states, Indiana, Wisconsin, and Illinois. We are about 38 years of organization. The basic uh, reason of setup is to bring the culture and help each other, the America, India. India really needs us now, and Tri-State Telugu Association is doing all that we can. But I believe single organizations, one-on-one, -on -one, we can do it, but we should all come together. Sanatana Dharma, we need to be here, and I appreciate FIA, SEVA, and all of them, and, and uh, work with them too. And Trusty Telco Association and around, we collected about 20 oxygen concentrators and uh, we've used a courier and we're sending it to India. And we're very proud of that and I will urge all of you to use as one of the millions and channels to donate. It's telco.org. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have uh, Dr. Terence here, uh, who will uh, give us his remarks. Dr. Terence Chermel, um, part of the American Multi-Ethnic Coalition, and also with the Dr. Cloud EHR Service for Mental Health and Behavioral Health. Um, I did my training med school in India, in Chennai and Kerala, and I know that uh, all the, uh, the population that we have in India, it's hard to manage uh, this mass amount people uh, and now fighting COVID. So I know with the, the whatever funds that we do get, what we can produce, it'll be used properly because when we trained in India, we didn't have what we have here, like 
MRIs and everything. Back then, it was all clinical medicine. So I'm confident that uh, the physicians and, and uh, medical uh, uh, folks in India can help everybody if they have the resources. So it's very important that we, we get the funding. You know, India makes uh, quite a bit of vaccine, but we don't have funding for our own country to be able to get the vaccine. So every dollar counts. Uh, anything that we can do, uh, whatever the organization is, uh, we just got to make sure that the funding gets there. And uh, I hopefully we get over this phase and uh, hopefully we don't have a third phase. So it's uh, important that we make sure that we take care of the folks in India too. But as we know, um, this variant has come from UK and now is in India and uh, easily can come here. So the quicker we can keep things um, to a normal, you know, to break the curve, uh, to get the help that we need there, we can also prevent and protect here too in, in America too. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of uh, TV. I would like to thank everyone that was part of today's event. In closing, I just would like to urge all of you to go through any of the organizations that was mentioned here, like SEVA or FIA, or Tri-State Telugu Association, Maharashtra Mandal. And there are um, other organizations also in India, like the Red Cross, uh, that is doing a lot of work on the ground. So reach out, you can uh, Google them on um, you know, the internet and get their websites so you can send your funds. And also talk and educate your local congressmen and senators because they will have uh, the power to uh, let our administration know that India needs a lot more assistance than what is currently being given. And uh, you know, they will make all efforts to send more funding, medical supplies, oxygen, and uh, provide total health services for the people of India. Thank you again, and uh, all of you stay. COVID free India! COVID free India! Long live India! Long live India! Pray for India! Pray for India! Pray for India! Pray for India.